today, we're just getting him ready for his first race. Um, getting him prepared for travelling. Um, he was fed at half past four this morning to um, some peace and quiet so he could have breakfast by himself. And then uh, Matthew has just brushed him over, got him ready, checked him over this morning. And uh, we're getting him ready to travel, hopefully to run well on his first race course debut at Doncaster. Only a two and a half hour journey, very straightforward, straight up the A1. And uh, hopefully we shouldn't have any traffic problems. The two year olds always get a little bit nervous and a little bit fractious the first time out. But the more they do, the better they are. It's whether they worry about their racing or they don't. And he looks pretty relaxed about the whole thing. And the sooner we get on the road, the better. He travelled really well, um, no problems whatsoever, he wasn't sweaty, he was quite relaxed. He, uh, for a two year old first time out, he'd be very happy with the way he travelled. Um, so hopefully today he takes to his racing and see what happens. desperate to get a run into him ideally before the end of the season um, for experience sake before we go into the, the three-year-old year next year um, but David's very happy with him he says he's you know he's training well um, lovely big horse introduction this is the perfect sort of spot lovely straight six six furlong so uh, yeah we, we hope he'll uh, um, well, obviously we hope he'll win but we hope he'll uh, enjoy the experience and come on for the experience Last time we saw him was on the Cambridge Road. Since then he's trained well. Um, we had a hiccup about a month ago when he had a dirty scope. Uh, he missed 10 days now and we had 10 days easy. So, you know, we, we're going trusting his fitness um, slightly. But um, his work's been good. We hope he handles the ground. We don't know if any horse is going to handle the ground until we get out there. So it'll be interesting to see. Adam Kovic's had a fantastic season again, Adam. Um, very experienced. And again, he will be given instructions, I'm sure by David just to look after the horse, hold him together, of course win if you can, but make sure that this, this, is, this is all about the horse enjoying himself and going forward from here when he runs um, as a three-year-old next year. And off. Racing away, bit of a ragged start for Division 2 of the Betfred Mobile Cock of the North EBF Maiden. Just darting away to the left a little bit Abu Kadra, SPG taking plenty of driving in the early part just to keep up. But in the early stages it is going to be Dom and Annie down the near side through the first furlong with over towards the far side the market leader who's quite easy to back at Tanisurp. That one is tracked over on the far side by Abu Kadra and also Time's Legacy. All of the others coming more towards the near side with Dom and Annie leading up that little group in advance of Abaco Ridge. And they're being followed by the big white face of Foresight and then working back to Cortage and uh, SPG has never really gone the pace. Down they come past halfway, Tanisub over to the far side, Dom and Annie in the sheepskin noseband, they are the leading two, they're still split quite wide apart, with coming there powerfully, Abaco Ridge in the purple jacket near side, then follows Foresight, he's now attempting to stay on with racing next Abu Kadra, right over to the far side, Times Legacy is not out of it, then comes Cortage and SPG, pretty wide open race as they gallop on down to the final furlong, and now Abaco Ridge down the near side, is pounced upon by Times Legacy out in the centre of the track, Times Legacy and a backhoe ridge of the leading pair, followed through next by Foresight, and then Cortage, who's beginning to stay on a little bit, into the final 100 yards they go. It is Times Legacy under Jimmy Fortune. Jimmy at his very strongest here. Uh, Foresight running home quite well to the far side of a backhoe ridge, and they'll be second and third. But at the line, it was Times Legacy who proved too strong. He did everything required. Um, how he raced was good. Uh, he settled very well. Um, he was quite professional in the race. Um, he got slightly flat-footed at the two mark, um, and then I think he surprised slightly, Adam slightly, with the, the furlong marker when he picked up, and he galloped through the line very, very well. Um, it would have been interesting to see what would have happened if the jockey had given him a smack and seen his response, but at the same time, I think Adam was conscious to look after him with the future in mind. So, all in all, very satisfactory and happy. It went nicely. It's um, you know, a good day for first day at school for him. He, um, 
he jumped and he travelled nice and he got a little bit of cover so he's learned to settle and he's learned to finish his race off. Um, you know, I think I think he'll, I think he'll be a nice horse in the future, but um, it was important for him not to be knocked around first time. Um, and uh, hopefully next time they'll repay us for our kindness. He ran really, really well. It's very exciting to see a horse make a debut like that because he hasn't had a hard race. He's learned a lot. And as you saw the, there, the penny dropping very late in the race. And actually, Adam, I think, probably thought he was going to be an easy sort of third with the, other, you know, the first two going on. And then he came again and actually, you know, was doing all of his best work at the end of the race, which you love to see. So, uh, Absolutely delighted. Horse has taken it very well. Very peaceful after the race, and um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's really exciting. We're all buzzed up. Horse is really good. He seems really happy with himself. A um, bit of a new experience for him. Um, everybody seems quite happy. The boss seems quite happy with him. Once he gets home, uh, Matt will unload him, and check him over again. Uh, I head lad will check him over again and uh, give him a quick groom get him to relax, food, water, tuck him into bed, tomorrow's another day.